The interesting thing about that <laughs> is that adrenaline junkies can be born and not made. Ah. So I decided to put that to the test to see whether or not I've got the genes of a man or a mouse. I could have told you that. OK, you can go again. So this is where there's more funny and contorted faces per square metre than anywhere else in the country. And this man over here has seen more than most, I'm guessing. You're Brendan, aren't you? Nice to meet you. Hi, I think it's nice to meet you. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. <laughs> now, let me just get this right. You actually you measure thrill. You're like some kind of thrill barometer by kind of observing people's reactions on, on rides like this. That's my job. <laughs> I mean, like, how come like, so, some people are born to seek out thrill and others aren't? I mean, what is it, what is it that... Why is this man sticking things to my face? All the reveals. Ah! People's desires, or not, to seek out new sensations is partly to do with evolution. So imagine it's eons ago right. and we're all living in caves. So the higher the risks you take, the more likely you are to become a successful hunter and also perhaps more attractive to a potential mate. I like that. I'm, well, I'm in that category, I think. It kind of sounds like a good way to be. Yeah, I think so. But the higher the risk you take, the more likely you are to get eaten. <laughs> So a variety of thrill-seeking tendencies have evolved in the human population. So that's what we're about to find out. Are you a caveman or a cave mouse? The sensors on my fingers will tell Brendan how sweaty I get on the ride, while the chest ones measure my heart rate. There are also sensors stuck onto my face to monitor my expressions. OK, so this is it. Okay, yeah, ready. Time to find out how brave I am. Doesn't seem too bad so far. <laughs> oh God! No! Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to do this. All those sensors are actually showing me all your levels oh. of fear and excitement on the ride, and I did say all was going to be revealed. <laughs> so did I come out on top as a, as a strong hunter type? Um, afraid not. <laughs> So the news isn't quite what I'd hoped for. Here at the scariest bit of the ride, my fear levels shoot through the roof. So sadly, it seems I'm not the thrill-seeking lady magnet I imagine myself to be. The data doesn't lie. I've been collecting all your values for your fear, your excitement, and I've been able to come up with your very own thrill factor for the ride. So it's out of 10. The lower the score, the higher a thrill seek you are. In fact, actually, anything under five puts you squarely in the category of an adrenaline junkie. So what, 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 what am I? Well, I'm not going to like this answer, <laughs> I, I, I suspect. You scored a whopping seven and a half. Oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> oh, that's really rubbish. <laughs> OK, so I'm officially a wimp. But there is hope for me yet. I want to transform myself into the brave Dallas of my dreams, and according to Brendan, my best shot is something called desensitisation. So, Dallas, with desensitisation, it's best to build up slowly. So I'm going to put you on a ride which satisfies your current thirst for thrill, and then we're going to build you up gradually. You're going to be going on this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Woo! I really enjoyed that. That was good. That was much more uh, my cup of tea. Even better, I get a massage. Not so bad, this desensitisation lark. Or so I thought. Because I'm going on this next. Oh. And this is what Brendan called slowly building up. Oh, my word! Oh, I don't like this at all. Apparently, the idea of desensitisation oh. is the more I'm exposed to thrill, the less sensitive I'll become to it. Can I get off now? No, no, you have to stay on just one more time. Oh. But if I'm pushed over a certain fear level too soon, the rides could reinforce my fears. Oh, please make it stop. I definitely prefer the teacups. It wasn't so much the fear, it was just the fact that my stomach was dropping places with my esophagus. Well, I'm not entirely sure that you're desensitised. Oh. And it's only going to be getting worse. This is the most horrible one yet! It's all getting a bit more serious now, and I'm going off desensitisation fast. But if done carefully over time, this kind of gradual exposure technique can help treat phobias and even car sickness. For the love of God! Oh. Allegedly. Oh. 
To take my mind off the possibility of seeing my breakfast again, Brendan kindly lets me relax. This should give me happy thoughts and stop me from associating the rides with negative feelings. Oh, that's nice. A touch of yoga, and guess what? Did you go up? I'm going back on again. Ten rides down the line, and I never want to see a roller coaster again. But Brendan's got other ideas. I think it's probably about time we tested your new thrill factor. And to make it a fair test, I'm going to put you back on the same ride as this morning. Really? Afraid so. The sensors are stuck firmly back on, and it's time for the retest. This is the moment I find out if I've turned from a mouse into a man. <laughs> I'm a broken man, Brandon, <laughs> slash mouse. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> I think I might have some good news for you. Please give me good news, because I can't deal with any other kind of news. <laughs> if you look at your facial expressions yes. here, you can see that there's not much going on there. It's a bit like you're watching paint dry. Does that put me into the sort of caveman realms of uh, adrenaline seeking? Yeah, within a theme park setting, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, this morning, your thrill factor was 7.5 out of 10. Now, remember, anything below five puts you in the thrill seeker, high adrenaline junkie okay. kind of category. Your new thrill factor yeah. is just one. Ooh! <laughs> one. 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 Now, I know to the untrained eye that looked like I was just having a nice day at an amusement park, but we were, in fact, conducting some very serious scientific research, not to mention feeling a little bit queasy. Now, the reason that Jen is all wired up is because he is about to experience the future of thrill rides. Are you ready for this? Yes, I think so. Good. Now then, this is where the science happens. I can monitor all Jem's vital signs on this computer screen here and adjust the ride accordingly. So if I start... Dallas, remember I'm human, not just a bunch of numbers. <laughs> OK, now I can see already... OK, his heart rate's jumping. It's up to about 134, 35. <laughs> He's very excited. The excitement level's up to 816, whatever that is. He's not that frightened, though, and he is sweating a lot. So I'm going to, oh. I reckon he can do a bit better than this. So I'm going to really start to crank <laughs> it up. Ah. I'm going to turn the bucking bronco speed up and then spin him round a bit. <laughs> and as I spin him round, his heart rate really jumps up to oh. 137, 152, oh. and he's off. <laughs> Are you all right? You, uh, you <laughs> ride a crazy horse, Dallas. <laughs> oh. Now, the really exciting thing is that uh, Thrill Lab, the researchers who actually built this, are developing a fully automated computer-controlled model that'll be able to measure those vital signs in real time, basically taking me out of the loop. OK, move over. I want to go on this. But <laughs> You're the be thrill gentle. I, I will, of right. course, be gentle, Dallas. It'll just be a level one. I am never going to get those two off that thing. Are you ready, Liz? I am. Whack it up to maximum. I'm going to show you boys how it's done. Maximum. Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 